The GitHub plugin for Jenkins is the most basic plugin for integrating Jenkins with GitHub projects. If you are a GitHub user, this plugin enables you to schedule your build, pull your code and data files from your GitHub repository to your Jenkins machine and automatically trigger each build on the Jenkins server after each commit on your Git repository. This saves time and lets you incorporate your project into the continuous integration process. Taurus facilitates continuous integration style usage because you can manage all pre and post test actions in one configuration file as part of version control system, that is GitHub repository. As a result, all changes will be saved in one place and every change in the test configuration file can automatically trigger Jenkins to run the test with the changes you made. In this video, we will see how to integrate Taurus with other continuous integration tools. For this demonstration, I'm going to use uh, the source code management tool that is open source uh, tool which is GitHub. For continuous integration server, for automation, we will use Jenkins and Taurus for test configuration. I have already moved my Taurus scripts in GitHub. You can see those uh, Taurus scripts in YAML format and uh, JMeter script, YAML. You can see all these files here in the GitHub. Now, uh, to integrate the GitHub with Jenkins, we need to install GitHub plugin for Jenkins. Once you have installed the GitHub plugin for Jenkins, we can configure the J Jenkins to work with that GitHub. So I'm going to show you how to configure the Jenkins plugin for GitHub. So for that, uh, we go to Jenkins and log in to Jenkins. And then uh, we will click on Manage Jenkins. So once you click on Manage Jenkins, you can click on Configure System. Under the Configure System, it, we would add the GitHub server information. So if you scroll down, it would ask for the GitHub server information. So for this, I'm going to add the GitHub server. So let us uh, name this as uh, demo Taurus Gits. The API URL, by default it would come in. Now we will add a credential so that this can connect to my GitHub. So I click add Jenkins. So under global credentials, we can use uh, username password. Uh, instead of username password, we would select secret text so that I can use my GitHub token in place of secret. So in the secret, uh, we will use a GitHub personal token. To get the personal token, you go to the GitHub and go to settings. Under settings, you see developer settings. Under developer settings, you see personal access tokens. And here you can click generate new token. Enter the credentials here. So once you enter the credential, now you can generate tokens. So we will give a token description here. To access your repository and so either we are 
I'm just going to give it for all. After you select all the options, click generate token. So once it generates a token, you see the token over here. And by clicking on this clipboard icon, you can copy that token. Now paste that token in your Jenkins. And then you can give some identification information to connect your GitHub or connect server. Click add. So once that credential has been added, you can select that GitHub server credential here and click on test connection to check whether you are able to connect to the GitHub server. So now it says that the credentials have been verified, so it is able to connect to the GitHub. Now we have successfully connected to the GitHub. Now Jenkins have been connected to uh, GitHub server information. After you click save, you can add the settings by adding the services for your Jenkins GitHub plugin. For that, we create a new project by clicking on new item and then you click free stay and here you can give the project name as so you can scroll down click ok so here we would be adding the information for source code management as we are going to use github project select the github project and paste the project url so the project url is nothing but your github repository url that i have already so you can refer to your github repository url here so that's a github project url and then you can also configure the same information under source code management as well so here again it would ask for the repository url you can choose that and you can also use that credentials whatever we have configured for our github then, uh, then you can go to build triggers here you can choose github hook trigger for git scm pooling it is this option is useful when you make any change in your github uh, that is test configuration file it will automatically trigger the Jenkins to run your test so that you can automate the process so whenever you make any change in your github for your Taurus test configuration file it will automatically invoke the testing so that you can get the information from our blaze meter so I'm going to show you that as well how to integrate this with our blaze meter so that you can see that report on the blaze meter so I click save here so now we have uh, configured the project with necessary information to connect to the github but then we will have to add Jenkins plugin for this so now we will see how to add the Jenkins plugin for this you can click the github option here on your left hand side and now it will automatically connect to the github and go to settings under settings you see integration and services so once you click integrations and services it shows the option to add the jenkins github plugin information here so this is J jenkins github plugin so here we will point that to the blaze meter so that i would get the report triggered automatically so whenever you make any change in your Taurus it will automatically trigger the Jenkins job this option is useful to run or get the report of your Taurus test configuration on blaze meter so we will configure this Jenkins webhook 
to blaze meter now we have configured the jenkins to send the report to the blaze meter so i have configured it to connect to the github as well as blaze meter so that the jenkins will read the information from the github uh, tor script and then it will automatically trigger it to the Gen blaze meter report once a github plugin is fully installed and integrated into your jenkins project you have completed the crucial step towards a full continuous integration process so now we can proceed to the testing phase for that i click add service to add the jenkins plugin now we go back to the jenkins Uh, here is the project where I am going to run my test script. So I click on this project. In order to get the report on Blaze Meter, we should add the Blaze Meter API key as a secret text credential in Jenkins credentials. So now we will see how to add. The secret text credentials for our place meter API key. Click on the credentials and go to system. So once you click system, you get global credentials option. Click on the global credentials and you will see add credentials here. Now instead of username with password, we will select secret text. And here the secret will be your API key for the blaze meter. So for this, uh, I go to the blaze meter. So in the blaze meter, you can go to workspace. Under workspace, you see settings. Under settings, you see uh, on your left hand side, you can see that API keys option. Click on API keys and you can generate the API key by clicking plus and here I give Taurus and you can also set the expiry date for your API key if you want and you can click generate button to generate the API key so the API key ID copy that by clicking this clipboard option once you click on that go to your Jenkins and paste over here after you paste the key ID enter colon from your keyboard followed by the secret API key secret from place meter okay, click on this to copy this go back to Jenkins paste it so the ID you can give as uh, Taurus Jenkins and this is API key for cloud provisioning click OK so now you can see that uh, the credential the secret text has been created for using the blaze meter API key now the next one is we will use this key as a variable in the options of binding so we have credentials binding plugin got installed already so we will go and configure this in our Jenkins system. So go to your project and click on configure and scroll.
scroll down to build environment so under build environment you can see use secret text or file select that option for adding the binding so under bindings you see add option click on add and we have already selected a uh, secret text credential for our API key so we select uh, secret text the variable will be key and the credentials already we have given it as API key for cloud provisioning we would be using that now we click save and go to configure now we will give the command under the build option so that we can execute that command from Jenkins so click add build step and say execute windows patch command you can give the command bct taurus underscore jmeter underscore script1 dot yaml hyphen o and here we will be giving the place meter api key by using this option it is modules place meter dot token equal to the key already we have bound through bindings so we use that variable here with percentage key percentage followed by a report option so that we get the report on place meter we save this click on build now to execute this option so now you see that it's getting executed so you can click on this to go to console output where we see what's happening on your system so you can see that it has created a temporary batch file to execute the command here you can see the command whatever we have given so the key is encrypted you can see here so nobody will know what is the API key that you have used to execute this and you can also see here it shows started data feeding once you click on this it will start and show the test configuration on the blaze meter where you can see the report of your test So now on place meter you can see the test configuration details and the load, response time, how many virtual users, what time it got started. So all the details you can see over here on place meter site. So I click So here you can see that the test case is getting executed and I have opened this in another tab going back to this console output and now you can see that it has executed successfully it's shutting down and finally it gives you the online report link by clicking on this you can get the final report so now you learned how to execute a Torah script using Jenkins. Thank you.